copy that. Gentlemen, good morning. I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid you've had a wasted trip. Mrs. Burgess passed away this morning. <laughs> Understood. Oh well, my sincere condolences, Mr. Burgess, but I'm afraid it's back to the nick for you. It's to it's all the same. What's the point? She's dead. I'd like to see my mother. Hold on, mate. Members Emily. Yeah, I'm a member. We're closed. Fuck off. Enjoy. Cheers, Michael. You look like a man who could do some wishful drinking. What can I get for you, my love? Oh, I don't know. What are you going to chat this decent? It's a member's club, not the fucking Ritz, darling. Just what you see. Right, well, I'll have anything with an FDM head then, please. Yeah. I think I can do that. I've been behind this bar since you were in short trousers. Not seen you in here before? I don't get out much. Oh, I bet you're the life and soul of the party, eh? You know what? I do have my moments. <laughs> Keep the change. Cheers. Everyone spoke to me. Everyone. Even I'd moved his office upstairs. And Lincoln said he don't want no one out on the streets till this had been cleared up. We won't go for you because we can handle this shit against some nut with a blade. It's a fucking axe. And no, we want to come for you because one, Stokes has gone missing. And two, that nutter killed Rook. We all feel bad for him, bro. But I've got a business to run. We could be the first to agree with me. Because whilst he was a bit of a sadistic cunt, he was first and foremost a professional. Did you hear what happened to him? You do know about the end, don't you? When? Fuck's sake. All right, Joe. Come and tell Vernie what happened to you and Rook. Why, what do you want to know? Just tell him what happened. <coughs> So me and Rook, you know, we're standing on the corner. You know, we're slinging a bit of Scooby. You know, standard trees and I. And all of a sudden, we clock this geezer. 
and they're standing on the other side of the road. No, so I fucking us. Yeah. So Rook turns around and says he's gonna go and have a quick word. No, I can't do nothing about it. Now I've got customers to deal with. Next thing, Rook is on his hands and knees, holding his arm. I realise he's had his fucking hand cut off by this nutter. Yeah. So obviously I go fucking running over, ready to smash his face in. And this guy shits himself and runs. Obviously I give chase. Well, this guy's fast, right? He's, I mean, crackhead fast. So I realise I've left Brooke in the middle of the fucking street. But by the time I get back, he's fucking dead. Now there's blood everywhere. I couldn't find his fucking hand. Now he's just gone, vanished. <laughs> yeah, what's with a laugh, mate? <laughs> Don't mind me, pal. Don't mind me. <laughs> Who's this prick? <laughs> you must be a tough guy then, yeah? Chasing that bloke away all by yourself. It's funny, that. You don't look like a tough guy to well, me. What's a fucking tough guy look like then? Well, they look like me, don't they? You know, handsome, well-aged. Yo, Bez, who the fucking hell's this? I don't know, he didn't say his name. Cliff let him in. I thought he was part of the firm. I'm an old friend of Lincoln's. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right, mate. How'd you fuck up your face so bad? Playing with your dildo, was it? Yeah, borrowed it off your dad, mate. Well, he's got some fucking front, hasn't he? Mm. Not as much as you. Judging by that fucking yarn you were just spinning. Oh, he's digging you right out here, too. Well, you weren't fucking there, right? Just shut up! Oi! Simmer down, yeah? Don't make me call last orders early. And you, stop winding him up, or you can get the fuck out. All right, all right, I apologise. Lads, lads, I'm sorry, all right? I was just having a laugh with you, yeah? Have a bit of a giggle. I'll finish my beer and be on my way. Yeah, right along. Dickhead. He's like, what the fuck? What do you know about Frankenstein's monster over there? I've never seen a freak before in my life. That I think I fucking remember. And he's only got a face you could fucking forget, has he? And he seems to have you sussed. Mate, what's your fucking problem? No, no, no, he's right. And if Lincoln invited him, we best just keep things civil. So go on. Go on what? Finish the fucking story. Yeah, right, of course. So I'm, I'm obviously standing there, with this big massive bag of merch. You know, Rook's lying in the street dead. Next thing I hear the sirens coming, the police are on the way, so I had to fuck off, do you know what I mean? Bollocks! You were long gone way before they arrived. What? Ran off shitting bricks, you did. Do you want me to cape your fucking face oh, open up Oh, here again? we go. Finally found your bottle, did you, mate? Yeah? Don't you think it's about time you told your mates the truth? So? What's he going on about? Yeah, tune. What am I going on about? I don't know. His head's fucked, Mo. I don't know. He's fucking twisted. Well, you want to hear my twisted take on this tale? Not really, chap. Well, fucking you and me. This was to finish my pint. Because there was a bloke standing staring at you. That much is true. Yeah, Rook. Tell me how Bill. Been I fucking for the past ten minutes. Yo, bro. Can we help you with something? Justice once, then I Oh, fuck off, you wanker! So you can rule. Yeah, that's right, mate. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Well, clearly, you're only interested in one thing. Oi, it's time for you to leave. I've still got half a pint left, Fluff. Yeah, my pub, my pint. Get out! Cool, you fucking wanker! <laughs> Anyone else make a move on me, I'll kill him. Straight to fucking Christ! Get away from that door! Where is he? So where the fuck is he? Who? Nation! How is this low key, you stupid, noisy? Come here! Turn her out! Get over there. You got anyone else up there? No. 
Hush. <laughs> you remind me of someone. All right. But you can't be him, because he's on a long stretch. And he was a little melt. <laughs> Fuck me. The prodigal brother returns. What rock did you crawl out from under? HMP Belmarsh. Like you didn't know. Oh, who the fuck is this joker? Oh, ladies. This is Kane Burgess. Lincoln's little baby brother. Are you joking? What, this nutter? Did a job for us a few years ago. Cocked it up. Went down for five years. Seven years now. Is that where they redecorated your face? Fuck me, looks like someone set fire to your head and put it out with a shovel. Still not all bad, eh? Must have liked all that cock. Right. Looks like we're having a lock in, Bess. So do me a favor. Rustle me up another one of your perfectly poured pints. Please. That's better. It only takes a moment to be courteous. You little cunts. <laughs> What's your language, Beryl? Beryl? Don't look like I was born in the twenties, you cheeky git. It's Bess. Yeah, all right, Bess then. Could have been short for Beryl, couldn't it? I used to blush as a kid. Got cool strawberry and then it got trimmed down to berry. I ended up as Bess. I don't blush now, darling. Yeah, I bet you don't. Get back! Get back! I fucking told you what would happen tonight! Oh, fuck! Right! You dumb old leg! Mobile phones. One from each of you. Call me now, or the person next to you gets fucking kneecapped. Do it! Come on! I'm fucking hear myself think. Shut up! Well, to be fair, you have just blown his foot off. It'll sting a bit. This cunt reckons he killed Rook. Really? Well, Tune, you chased him off. You recognize him? No. He's full of shit, I'd. Well, what do you say to that, Kay? You think I'm full of shit, do you? Yeah. Yeah? You're full of shit, apparently. Your mate Rook had a chunky chest piece inked on his hand, yeah? Open it. That. I said open it! I'll do it. No! No! He needs to do it. Open it, you fucking pygmy. Go on. Do it. Why? That's it. Jesus fucking Christ! You fucking mad, mate! Oh dear, Kate. Well, I guess that clears up the old. Half full of shit in my debate. What have you done? So how about we have a nice little breather? One of you gents take a seat. Come on, sit down! Fucking sit down, mate. You eyeball me, I'll blow your fucking head off. Sit down. All right, Bez, the drink's all round. You can put my eye to tab. He ain't got a tab, love. Hmm. I don't know whether you've been paying attention or not, but got a big fucking gun in my hand and I'm not afraid to use it. Take to piss in your chips, darling. This ain't the first time I've looked into that end of a shooter. Be reasonable, Bez. Do us all around and drinks, please. Yeah, Bez. Will you get us one of them uh, Rooster Rojos as well, please? You'll get what you're fucking given, all right? Yeah, of course, yeah. Now I'll have a Rooster Rojo. So. Prison turned you into a stone cold killer, did it? No, prison didn't. You and my brother did. You wanna know what I'm thinking? <laughs> ah, fucking sit down! Fuck off! I'm gonna take pleasure cracking your fucking skull open. But you know what? That can wait. And I got pretty good at waiting. 
Get your phone out. You're going to tell him to get down here right now. You're going to tell him it's about Rook, and then you're going to hang up. Is yeah, it's me. Need you to come down to the jockey. We've got a situation. It's about Rook. Hyde, please tell me it was you and all the lads that gave that cunt all these cars. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. But I wish it was. Oh, you want to know how I got these scars, do you? Oh, yeah. Enlighten us. You and my brother may as well have carved each one of these scars into my flesh. Where have you been hiding yourself these days, Ken? We haven't seen you in ages. I thought I'd better not show my face around for a bit, you know what I mean? Need to talk to my brother, though. Got a great business deal for him. You hear that? Why? Perhaps you should give the lad a shot. He's only up and up. Doesn't know the meaning of dishonesty. Couldn't even throw a fight. The up and up? A fuck up, more like. All you had to do was lose a fight. You lost me a packet. Do you know what, Rock? I don't think I heard what you just called me. Do you, uh, do you want to say that again, mate? You heard. Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. You lost a packet. You done five large. I done 15 large. What is it you wanted from me? It's all right, I've had a word with you outside. You're mad. I'm in the middle of a car game. You've got something you want to ask me. Let's hear it. Why? I've got a business proposition for you. It's, uh, it's a good deal. Been talking it through with Mum, and she thinks it could be a real winner. Mum? Yeah. Well, you know I love her, Mum. Means more than a meal of life itself. But since when has her business acumen got anything to do with what I fucking do? Well, you remember Sully from the gym, right? Yeah, old Sully. He's jacking it in, so I made him an offer. He's accepted, right? It's a good deal, real good deal. Just need the startup capital, which is where you come in, of course. But I've got a business plan written up and everything. <laughs> this should be a laugh. Let's hear it. Kane, I have a few very simple rules that I live my life by. And they've served me double well over the years. One of them is never, ever, ever lend money to family. It's a good plan, though, right? I'm telling you, I, I could go through it with you right now if you want. No. Because I'm going to pass me. You see, little bruv, lending money is what I do. I know. I mean, what happens if you can't pay me back and your business plan goes fucking by side? We don't want to come after you and seriously hurt you. Oh, come on, man. Jim's come and go, mate. What makes yours so fucking special? Not your star-studded career. Please don't tell me that, because you fucked up. You fucked up. And every one of your fans in this room done proper money on you. Mm -hmm. Because they trusted you. Yeah. And now you come into me and you're asking me to fund your next gamble. Why don't you talk to me like that? Hey, condescending. You're my brother, not my fucking dad. I know, but you're coming to me and you're asking for money. What do you expect? Fuck this. Kai, Kai, Kai. Sit down. Sit down. You always fucking get excited, you and that temper. Look, I know what you're trying to do. You're keeping your nut down and you're fucking keeping your nose clean. That's a good thing. It's a really good thing, and I'm proud of you. But I'm telling you now, if you want me to break one of my rules and lend you money, then you're going to have to do something for me. I appreciate that, but I'm not looking to get into anything like that. I don't want to do anything illegal. This is the closest you're ever going to get to me lending you money. So take it or leave it. Well, then what's the job? Go and see Hyde. He'll fill you in on everything you need to know. And trust me, it's a piece of piss. Not even you could fuck it up. I bet seven grand on you losing that fight. I was trying to make it look real, wasn't I? So you knocked him out cold? In Mexico, you know what happens to people that behave like that? They string him up under a bridge, cut off their dick, and shove it down their mouth. Come on, it's a bit harsh, isn't it? Yeah, well, you know, they're savages. But that's not the point. It hurt, and I don't just mean the money. We're friends. Yeah, I know. Your brother tells me I'll give him another shot, but... I'm not so sure. Look, I made a mistake, right? It's not gonna happen again. Because my brother is gonna vouch for me. 
Rook says you're a fucking liability. Oh, well, if Rook says so, I'll just fuck off then. Oh, sit down, princess. Don't shit yourself. I didn't say we weren't going to use it. I'm just letting you know that you're standing in terms of the establishment. Have you seen one of these before? Blue plastic bag. It's in a few, yeah. Oh, man of the world, are we? At three o'clock this afternoon, Mabel Liddell is going to come into this office. She's going to take this away with her. You are going to follow her home to London Fields, where she lives. You're going to take that bag off of her, and you're going to bring it back here. Simple. What's in the bag? About, um, about two and a half pounds of none of your fucking business. If she causes you any trouble, you can knock her out cold, can't you? Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right then, laughing boy. Wipe the fucking smile off your face. Have a dump, wind your watch, fuck off across the street, get out of my office, and close the door on your way out. Boy, this is all very interesting, but is it going anywhere? Yeah, it is, actually. You see, because of you and my brother, I ended up going to prison, didn't I? HMP Belmarsh, or as I came to know it, horrible, motherfucking piss-old Belmarsh, the filthiest, most violent, and godforsaken prison in England. Yeah, that was where that joke of a judge sent me. I didn't have a criminal record. I never had that mindset. You know, I couldn't even throw a fucking boxing match, but they threw me in there with those ardent murderers, rapists, serial offenders. There's a reason why they call that place a meat grinder. Excuse me, Cunt. Excuse me, Cunt. Jaw seems to be healing nicely. You know, they would have given you the normal dentures if you just asked. Yeah, I did. You should have said, please. You know, if it bothers you that much, when you get out of prison, just get them switched. It's an easy procedure. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't mind them. They were really scary as fuck. <laughs> Scuffle. Why is it always you? It's not always me, man. I'm in prison. 
person online. What do you expect? This is what I expected. I hope to learn something in here. Get a bit of a kick up the backside. I'm getting a kick up the backside, all right. Don't worry about Nothing that. Nothing to be proud of. I'm not proud of it. I'm just worried about your son. I don't, I don't know what to say, to do. I spoke to another lawyer. Yeah. But he ain't got the money to pay him. Neither do you. What's Lincoln said about it? Oh, Lincoln don't talk to me about that sort of thing. You know, Lincoln does his own thing. Has he said anything about me? He says it's your own fault for getting in trouble. Fuck's sake, man. Don't talk to me in that language. I bring you up to be better than the animals in here. Don't stoop to their level. No, I'm sorry, man. Lincoln has his work. And whatever you say about him, he ain't in jail. He ain't the one keeping me awake at night worrying. Lincoln needs to come down here and talk to me, all right? You gotta tell him to come here and talk to me. I'll tell him so. No touching. I'm sorry, man. to believe that you were at least in part responsible for the incident that took place on the 28th of June and it thereby finds you guilty as charged. I don't understand this, right? What do you want me to do? They're coming at me with a knife. It's self-defense, clearly, right? What do you want me to do? Let them stab me. Order. No, I'm telling you, right, there's people in this prison. They're out to get me. I need a transfer. I need it today. Your sentence is hereby extended by one year. Please, take the time alone to reconsider your life decisions. I'll consider the fact that you are fucking punts. For what? Fucking defending myself, that's for what? You fucking stupid cunts. Come on, you haven't got a fucking clue, have you? You sit there with your fucking, fucking stupid tie on. You haven't got a fucking clue. Nothing could have prepared me for the shit that I was about to go through in this hellhole. So I had to make a choice. If I was going to get through this stretch in one piece. Talking to me, mate, yeah? Talking to me, yeah? I was gonna have to treat this like a fight. You fucking want it? Fuck up! That's what I'm talking about, mate, yeah? Come back there and get some more! I had to change myself into something I didn't even recognize anymore. I'll fucking take all five of you! Bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Whoa! Fucking come on! As the months and the weeks rolled by, I slowly but surely turned myself into what you see before you now. A hardened, rusty nail. You see, the body can be strengthened to a degree, but it's your mind that makes you impervious to defeat. Just like the skin on your knuckles, the mind can be made callous as fuck. But only pain can do that. So I learn how to take pain. But more importantly, I learn how to dish it out.
You see, the problem I had was why. Why did every fucker in that place want me dead? I mean, it didn't make any sense to me. I couldn't work it out. And then one day, it all became clear. Anyone else fucking want it? Anyone else? Huh? All right. Hey, that's it. In through the nose, out through the mouth. All right. Probably a bit concussed, mate. Wouldn't worry, the guys will land in a minute. Nothing personal, Kane, you know. Nothing personal. What's he do it then? Hey? What you got to gain from it other than a fucking skull frat show up? It was worth it, mate. It fucking would have been 20 grand. We're talking about 20 grand. Right. Well, what are you talking hey, about? 20 grand? From where? Train was looking us up, yeah? <laughs> I think your brother's bankrolling it. My brother. I ain't joking, eh? I only did it for the cake. My brother did this. You say your own fucking brother did this? My own brother? My own fucking brother? Why'd he do it, Hyde? Oh, sorry, sweetheart. I've no idea what you're talking about. Don't you deny that. Don't you fucking dare. You my brother had a price tag put on my head, didn't you? I can accept it from a dirty, conniving little bastard like you, but I cannot accept that from him. Week after week they came, one after another, sometimes more than one. Do you know why it didn't matter to me? Keep them coming, I said. Bring on all comers. Come and have a fucking go, mate! The more they came, the stronger my mind got, and my daily existence became about survival. <laughs> possible to make your own napalm in prison, did you? Well, you can. And it fucking burns. <laughs> We hereby find you guilty, and your sentence, Mr. Burgess, will be extended by two years. Five weeks segregation to commence post-haste. Fuck you.
dead inmate, and you had his blood on your clothes. I'm adding an additional year to your sentence for being a part of the altercation. Likewise, six months segregation. Good to see you, ma'am. What's it been? About three years, is it? I did come to see you. They told me you was in solitary. More than once. Anyway, your brother didn't, didn't think it was a good idea. Too much stress, and he's right. Oh, look at you. I don't know what you've become. Something you need to know about Lincoln, Mum. Probably not going to be easy for you to wear, well, but... There's something I need to get off my chest first. It's not easy to say, but... I'll just say it. I've got the cancer. I've known for a few months, but... I didn't want to bother anyone. I start chemo on Tuesday. They say... It might be quite tough, so I don't think I'll be able to get in to see you much. Sorry, ma'am. You don't have to be sorry. Your brother's looking after me every day. Bless him, I don't, I don't know what I'd do without him. We'll be okay. And what was it you wanted to tell me about, Lincoln? Oh, don't worry about that, Mum's nothing. Oh, go on. No, I was... What? Go on. I'm glad Lincoln's looking after you, that's... that's it's a way off my shoulders, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. We're all fighters in this family, aren't we? Look at you. Yeah, we're fighters. Right, time's up. Come on, let's go. Come on! I never really knew what your pancreas did till my mum's got rid of with cancer. I still don't, really. She was a fighter, my mum. She fought that cancer longer than anyone thought she could. So they let me out for just five hours to go see her. Sent me with a six-man security detail, one paddy wagon, two cars. She died before I even got there. I didn't know. I knew she was ill. Sorry for your loss. She was a fine woman. I did know that some lag had done for a couple of screws and made a break from the hospital. I just didn't connect the dots. Maybe you should have done. So how the fuck do you manage that then? You should keep yourself out of trouble. Uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, uh, 
Done. I didn't think you had it in you. Well, I'm not the same bloke you left out in the cold, Hyde. I don't suppose you are. Right, that's it. I need a piss. Go in your fucking trousers. What? You heard. That is inhumane. I've got eight pints on board. To be fair, none of us had planned on being held hostage today. I need a piss as well. Go in one of them bottles, then. Nah. I need a shit. Piss in one of the bottles, and you can shit your pants. Uh, might want to rethink that. Pretty sure none of us will be stuck in here breathing this one's guts. Look, whatever you're going to do, figure it out and do it quick. Fucking zombie looking fast. <laughs> Enough of you and your silly panto. If you're going to do something, crack on, because I am bored of your bullshit. Oh, you want me to crack on, do you? Yeah? Tell you what, then. Turn around. Get on your knees. Go on. There you go. That's a good pig. When my brother gets here, we'll kick things off nicely. But until then, do me a favor and shut your fucking mouth or you'll be next. You know, I don't remember you being so trappy. Or so gangster. Oh, I've come a long way since the blue bag day. When you sent me to steal from Mabel Liddell, I could have never imagined where it would have led me to.
Mabel Little. 49. Mother of three. Grandmother of two. Worked as a dinner lady at the local comprehensive. Died earlier this evening whilst undergoing surgery related to a traffic accident. It wasn't my fault. You stole a purse, mate. She chased you and she ran into traffic. That's a manslaughter charge. That and the robbery, well, they'll put you away for this game. But we're not really interested in that, mate. Does the term cuckoo mean anything to you? Cuckoo? As in the fucking bird that can't build a nest so it steals one from another fucking bird. Oh, right, yeah, that cuckoo. Means fuck all to me, mate. See, your brother. Runs the largest entrapment and cuckoo scan in the city. The last three years, we've been working with people that your brother's persecuted. Mabel Little refused to cooperate, but we're observing her. Which means you're kind of fucked, doesn't it, mate? I want a lawyer. You're incommunicado, boyo. You don't get a bloody lawyer. Usually starts with a single family member, black sheep, idiot brother, you know, your type. Lincoln. Hide any of these other heavies that we know of. They'll end up paying the family a little visit, won't they? And they'll say, well, so-and-so owes us a little money, and he's in line for a little belty. But if you run us this little errand, we'll let him off. Family's too happy to oblige, aren't they? Give them a little package, tell them that there's some drugs or some money in the package, and tell them to go to such and such address. What they don't tell them is they hire another hoodlum to rob them on the way, mate, right? All of a sudden, there's a catastrophic amount of money in that package. Now, this is the entrapment part. The gang members want more, don't they? So they show up at the fucking house. Yeah? They want the doll. They want the check. They want the cash. They take the fucking car. They move into the house. They run the operations from the house. And they use the car to run the errands. They stay on the property. It's all the assets have been destroyed. And then they just move on to the next. Your brother. He does this. Hide does this and you fucking do it too the fuck i do got no idea what you're talking about mate albert mitchell pete single artist james webb eric godley sandy park miriam silverman and now mabel little and there's 150 or so other families children have been orphaned because of your brother's fucking business so you listen to me and you listen to me very carefully Manslaughter, and I'll bring you the least of your fucking problems, mate. I'm throwing organised crime at you. I'm a fucking lawyer, all right? You're listening to me. I want a lawyer. I don't know anything about this shit. What about my rights? Your rights are to give up your brother, mate. Them's the only rights you fucking have. This operation implodes without your brother. Maybe then a hundred or so other people can move on with their lives. Come on, mate. Give me your brother. Let's just... Finish this right now. How about bollocks? How about that? You're choosing the hard road because you're going away for a very, very long time. Sarge! Come on in, King. Let's have a little you and me time. I don't know anything about this. devil in me too, Kate. But I learned to accept my wickedness. I learned to apply it for good. You see, I have always been good with my fists. I want to do this to everyone that doesn't just bend over and get fucked, man, does he? Oh, he wouldn't approve of this. But then we don't have to tell him everything. Now do we? If you are the plot, well, if you touch me again, I'll fucking wreck you, chap. Now you can do that with your hands cut behind your back. <laughs>
Oh, look what you've done. You've gone and messed up my nice interrogation room floor. Do you know what we do to catch the piss on a carpet? We rub the dirty fucking noses in it. Not so damn lippy now, are you, boy? I'm gonna hurt you, Kane. Fucking doors, why they bolted? Fucking time. Bez, I'm bolting doors. Don't do anything stupid. What's happening? Why this fucking door shut? All right, lads, come on in. Don't be shy. Make yourselves at home. Bez, shut those fucking doors now. You're not going anywhere. Do it! I can't believe it. It's so good to see you, brother. The only thing that matters is you're out. And you've come to me for help. I'm your brother. What's family for, after all? Get back! Get back! You think I'm gonna fall for that, do you? Weapons, mobile phones, put them on the bar. That means all of you. Come on! On the fucking bar! Drop your trousers, lift up your shirts. Fuck off, you ain't serious. We're not in prison. I'm not one of your boyfriends. Fucking do it. Do it! You happy now? Not just yet. Go over there with the others. Bess, do me a favor, do us another pint with a nice FD head, would ya? Please? Why don't you just take the gun off of her head and put it back on me? Shut up! I'm not the one in charge around here anymore. I am. Um, you might have these monkeys eating out of the palm of your hand, but I know the real you, don't I? The crybaby that I pissed on from the top of the tree, do you remember that? But I'm back up that tree again, bitch. Yeah, I remember that. I fucking remember it vividly. And I remember how I fucking beat the life out of you for doing it. That was it. This is now. Seven years since I've had a pint. I'm playing catch up. Is he all right? He's unconscious. He was in a lot of pain. It's probably better like that. He's dead. You fuck! <laughs> fucking hell, this is bad. This is so fucking bad. Damn can't kill Rook too, boss. He done what? Yeah, he tried to kill me and all. Then he comes in here and throws Rook's hand on the fucking table. Kane, you're not thinking straight. You are not fucking thinking straight. Do you realize what you're doing? Yeah, I realize what I'm doing. And let me tell you why. For the last seven years, I've been living with the threat of violence hanging over my head 24 fucking 7. Never knowing where it's coming from, who it's gonna be. I've been stabbed half a dozen times. I've had my bones broken, my ligaments torn. I've killed people, Lincoln. With my bare fucking hands. Prison rehabilitated you, Wilson. Yeah? Have you seen this scar? What about that? Have you seen that? Do you know what that is, mate? Do you know what they call that? It's what they call a napalm scar, that. And what about these fucking teeth? You know what? I wanted them to give me some of them nice white porcelain ones. But the prison dentist gave me these fucked up amalgam ones because of my attitude. Yeah, but you see, you do have a problem with your attitude. Me? Oh, fucking stop doing that! Look at you. You're a loose cannon. Prison's turned you into a fucking psychopathic killer. Prison didn't. You fucking did. When you put a £20,000 prize tag on my head in a prison full of rapists and killers who fucking strangle you for a pack of cigarettes, you did! What do you fucking expect when you start fucking grassing? That we're just gonna fucking lay down and let you fucking bury us? I never said shit to anyone. I didn't say fucking words. You're forgetting that we had a fucking cosa on the inside keeping fucking tabs on you. Do you know what? You dumb fuck. Evans played you for a fucking fool told you a bunch of lies because he knew that you were gullible enough to fall for it. You're trusting a Ben Copper over your own flesh and blood. 
I never said a fucking word. Not a syllable. You're fucking standing there, and you expect me to believe that Evans made all this up? Yes, he made it all up. Awara told me the truth. Do you know when he found out about Evans, you had him thrown off the force? Look, why don't, why don't we just give fucking Evans a bell getting down there, mate? Right? Let's fucking get him down there, and let's just see what he has to say about all this. Give him my phone. I don't think he's gonna be answering that phone, mate. Do I know you, Boyle? We met. He was a sergeant back then. What happened? You lose your job. Kane. Fuck me. Is that you, Kane? It's been a while. Johnny, give us a minute, will you, Boyle? So then, Kane, what? I'm guessing you, uh, broke out of prison? You tracked me down to this location to act your revenge on the copper who booked you? You didn't book me. You set me up. Told my brother I was gonna snitch on him, didn't you? Hero, ex-copper, kills escaped convict in self-defense. <laughs> I'm really gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Looks like we got a little bit of a predicament there, haven't we? Seems you've been running around all fucking weekend on your own little revenge mission. You're not thinking straight, Kane. Because I know I'm having difficulty taking in everything that's happened this week. Not been a tough week for you, has it, yeah? Poor you. I'm talking about mum. Did you get to see her? Yeah, I saw her. Lying under a white sheet. Yeah, I forgot there 20 minutes earlier. Might have been able to look her in the eye. Hold her hand. Tell her I loved her. And you know what them cops did? Stopped off on the way for a vanilla latte. 
the fuck were you? Listen to me, I had stuff, I had shit that I needed to deal with. Oh, you had shit to deal with, did you? More important than our dying mother. Don't fucking guilt trip me on that one, please. You abandoned her, didn't you? The fuck I did. Who do you think paid for all the doctors, eh? Who do you think organized every day for her to be picked up and taken to fucking hospital? Have you got any idea how much it broke her heart to come and see you in fucking prison? Because of you. I was inside because of you. You was the one who went and got fucking nicked. You knew the risks. No one made you do it. You let me in, and he threw me under the bus. No. No, no, no, no, no. It was Mrs. Liddell who got dragged under the fucking bus. By you. Listen to me. I know that life hasn't been great for you, and I know that I've not helped over the years. You can put a stop to all this. You can fucking stop it right now. There's no one left, mate. Mum's gone. You can make a fresh start. You're a free man now. What about the others? What others? Albert Mitchell. Pete Singlast. James Webb, Eric Godley, Miriam Silverman, Mabel Liddell, and all the other lives you've been ruining for years. This retard's gone and remembered all the names. Look, I'll be honest with you, mate. To me, they weren't just another fucking day at the office. They mean nothing to me, they're all cunts. It's a list of losers trying to shirk off their debts. Debts run up by smackheads and pillheads and all sorts of other scum. We worked out a way of making quite a lot of money out of people that wouldn't be in that position if they'd kept their fucking hat on straight. So you can take your sentimental bullshit and you can shove it up your fucking ass. What you just fucking done. I'm seriously gonna fuck you up like you can't believe. You've really fucked it up now, this time. There's no coming back from that. Maybe I don't want to come back. You recognize this? Should I? Your account's gonna miss it. <laughs> now help me, mate. We got a nice place here, Stokes. Done well for yourself. Do I know you? Oh, come on, you don't remember an old friend. Fuck me, Kane. What happened to you? Oh, shit me, that toast smells nice. Do you mind if I whack around it? Yeah? You have at least another decade on your ticket, so I'm guessing you're not out of good behavior. Well, you got a good thing going on here, haven't you, mate? Got the wife, the kids, little pet bunny. Are they aware of what you do? How you ruin people's lives for my brother? I didn't take you for the violent time, Stokes. Sit down. What do you want? I want to see them books. <laughs> I can't let you, Kane. Take it away, my brother tried to have me killed on the inside. Kane, you know I've never been a part of that. <sighs> I believe you. 
I'm gonna take Lincoln down, Stokes. So you may as well just show me them books. And then you go and get your family, you get your shit together, and you get the fuck gone. If I just leave town, you promise you'll leave us alone? I'll give you my word. How much has he got in his account, then? 300,000 in his check-in with several offshore deposits, totaling out to about two million pounds across a few currencies. Tell you what, leave him a grand and a half. We're gonna move the rest. Where? Oh, well, uh, that's the fun part. Stokes was a crooked fucker. Couldn't lie straight in bed. It didn't take him long to make his mind up and save his own ass. That's bollocks, you're fucking lying. You reckon? I took a picture of your account. You see that? 2.2 2 million in dollars, euros, pounds, all of it gone. I left you with a grand and a half. That's what a few porcelain teeth would have cost. You're never gonna see the rest. You sure are racking up the reasons to get yourself killed tonight, aren't you, my love? I hope your little revenge mission was worth it. You hear that, did you, Lincoln? Key words there, revenge. Everything I've done over the last two days, it started with you. And for what you did to those innocent families, it's gonna end with you. When you die, the ledger will be erased. The debt's dissolved. And each and every one of those 147 families are gonna be free. Those names, you see, I couldn't help but memorize them. Repeated, time and time again in court. Over and over, I heard those names. You see, I knew it was too late to help myself, but maybe, maybe I could help them. And maybe one day, I might get the chance to be face to face with my brother one last time. And when I found that purpose, well, only then could I bear all the pain and suffering because now it all had a meaning. Now, it all made sense. Look, I know it's your brother that's out to get you. So, I ask you, why are you protecting him? Roll over on him, Kane. What are you waiting for? They're gonna kill you in here, you know that, right? Good luck, son. I'll do it. I'll do it on one condition. My mum's in hospital. She don't have long left. I want to see my mum. You let me see her. I'll tell you what you want to know. This ale tastes like shit, Bess. That's because I poured the drip tray into yours, darling. It's about time we got on with it, then, isn't it, eh? Guess you got a pretty good idea where this is going, Lincoln? Yeah, I've got a pretty good idea. Yeah, good. They can all leave if they want. It's only really you that isn't going anywhere. What you say, lads? You want to get out of here? Enough of this fucking bullshit! Fucking going anywhere. I don't know. Um, I'd quite like to leave, actually, if it's all right with you, Lark. Shut the fuck up, Tom. Yeah, of course. Sorry, Lincoln. No one's going anywhere. You're going to die in here tonight, Kane. You've got two barrels. There's ten of us. I only need one to blow your fucking head apart. It will maybe. And once you use that shot up, 
My men are gonna take turns each is tearing you limb from fucking limb. And what have you actually accomplished here tonight, eh? Look at you. I'll tell you, Sean. Fuck all. Absolutely fuck all. You're a mess. And the only thing you're ever gonna be remembered for is being a fucking mess. I'm all right not being remembered for anything. So let's go with it, shall we? You know there's a million nerves in a human body. And you was my brother. My fucking brother. You have always, since the day you were fucking born, got on every single fucking one of them. Come 
these guys. She's done me. Was it worth it? I mean, all this for the sake of a hundred and fifty pathetic fucking losers. Is this what you wanted? Not all I wanted, no. You're done. It's over for you. I've cost you everything. All this. Everything you've worked for is finished. You're fucked, mate. Is that right? <laughs> That's right, yeah. Yeah. Well, let me tell you something. Whatever satisfaction you think you're gonna get out of all of this, it's gonna be very fucking short-lived. Because I always come through. You know that, bro. Answer me one thing first. Why'd you do it, Lincoln? Was it you? Because of you. See, whether you fucking grasp or not, people stop respecting me. And you know me, bruv. I will not be fucking disrespected. So between me and you, What's done is done. You see, that's what happens when you get other people to do your dirty work. You forget to check the gun to see if it's loaded. Two shots, two barrels, and I've already used both of them, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Bring out the cuckoo's bank accounts. I have everyone in the 147 cuckoo bank accounts. Divide my brother's fortune by 147 and transfer the money to their accounts. You're giving it away? Are you mad? No, I'm not mad, mate. I'm thinking clearer than I have done in years. It's not much. Only about 15 grand each. But that's a lot of money to some people. Just there for my gyro, Mr. Patel. Yeah? Enough for a fresh start, anyway. Or maybe... Maybe just enough to breathe again. Just heard from Albert Mitchell's nephew. Another cuckoo got a windfall. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. That'd be the 12th one today, actually. Right there, Victor, please. Oh, that is great. Yeah, no, no. Thank you. Right. You're lucky this didn't go to the Crown Court, but as no one apparently saw anything and the cameras were obscured, all I have is a dead inmate, and you had his blood on your clothes. I was trying to give him first aid. He had a shank so far into the back of his head it was sticking out of his mouth. What exactly were you trying to do for him? I'm adding an additional year to your sentence for being a part of the altercation. That is the maximum punishment I'm authorized to set. Likewise, six months segregation. And cut.
Evet arkadaşlar devam ediyoruz. Orta Asya'da kurulan diğer Türk devletleri Avarlar hem Orta Asya'da hem de Avrupa'da devlet kurmuştur Avarlar. İstanbul'u kuşatan ilk Türk devleti olduğunu bileceğiz Avarların. Hristiyanlığı benimsemişlerdir. Üzengi ilk topluluk olarak bilinir. Üzengi kullanan ilk topluluk olduğu bilinir Avarların. Çarlıklar Talas Savaşı'nda Çinlilere karşı Müslüman Arapları desteklemiş ve Orta Asya'nın Türk hakimiyetinde kalmasını sağlamıştır. İslamiyeti kabul eden ilk Türk topluluğudur Karluklular. Cengiz Han'a itaat eden ilk Müslüman Türk boyudur ayrıca. Kırgızlar Manas Destanı en önemli eserleridir. Dünyanın en uzun destan olma özelliğine sahiptir. 22 bin beyit ve hala devam etmektedir. Manas Destanı. Yenisey yazıtları Kırgızlara ait önemli bir kaynaktır. Cengiz Han'a itaat eden ilk Türk devleti, uluslararası yarışmalar düzenleyen ilk devlet, ölülerini yakan tek devlettir Kırgızlar. Kıpçaklardan devam edelim. Kıpçaklar bir diğer adıyla kumanlar. Rusların Karadeniz'e inmelerini engellemişlerdir. Kodeks Humantus adlı sözlük önemli eserleridir. İlk Türkçe sözlük olarak bilinir. Kıpçakların Oğuzlarla 10. yüzyıldaki mücadelesi Dede Korkut hikayelerine konu olmuştur. Kıpçak Rus mücadeleleri de Igor destanında anlatılır. Macarlar bir diğer ismini yazarsak kendilerine Hungari derler. Bunun sebebi de Attila'yı tanımaları. Hristiyanlığa resmi din olarak kabul etmişlerdir. İlk Türkoloji Enstitüsü Macaristan'da açılmıştır. Bulgarlar İstanbul'u iki, ikinci defa kuşatan Türk topluluğudur. Bulgarlar. Tuna Bulgarları Hristiyanlığı kabul etmiş. İslamiyeti kabul eden ilk Türk devleti İtil Bulgarlarıdır. Tuna Bulgarları Asparov yönetiminde kurulmuş hüküm, hükümdarlarına Çan ünvanını vermişlerdir. Bu ünvanı kullanan ilk hükümdar Simon'dur. Bir sonraki dersimizde İslamiyet öncesi Türk devletlerinde kültür ve uygarlık konusundan devam edeceğiz.